because it's supposed to be getting up to about 19 miles now what I've done I've added another car battery so it's running at 24 volts but the problem is the battery one of the batteries isn't much good so it seems to let the volts in with no amps I'm going to be uploading some videos tomorrow of how it runs when it gets really windy but I'm just going to go have a look at the meter now see what it's saying that'll be just about making 24 volts now See the orange light I'm pretty sure is basically telling us that the battery is in poor condition and you can see how quickly the voltage has dropped down when the power stops coming in. I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes see if we can get any activity on the dump load. Whilst we've got some daylight and the wind turbine isn't producing any power let's have a quick look at this. The reasoning behind this was to attempt to use the three kilowatt bike motor on the spin bike. Right, so that's been recording for 10 minutes. I'm not sure if I've had any action on the dump load, but we've got a red light, uh, which I think means the battery voltage is really low. So we're just gonna have to see what happens and uh, I'll upload some videos uh, probably tomorrow and get 20 mile an hour winds. Cheers. Before I sign off on the video for now, I just wanted to quickly finish discussing this. Is there a possibility to use the three kilowatt bike hub motor in place of the hoverboard motor? Yes, there is. A couple of things need to happen first. I need to find the bolts if possible that would help. It's in there fairly solidly. Second thing I need to think about doing is trying to rubberize the wheel. Now I tried gluing on some inner tube which was a bit of a disaster. That wasn't going to work out but this needs to have some kind of uh, tread on it because what was happening it was getting up to 13 volts really easily and then as soon as it met the load and started putting in 40 to 50 watts this just slipped. You know the, the this is, is quite powerful really i don't know if it's because of the flywheel and the ratio and the size and everything but we got up to 12 volts very easily i think you'd get up to 24 volts quite easily because i've got the wind turbine set on 24 volts today yeah i think you'll get up to 24 volts quite easily and because the wind turbine set for 24 volts when the wind stops tomorrow i can basically have a go on that and see what happens the other option would be to create some kind of plate here that we could put that five kilogram weight on perhaps if you had a metal plate with a bolt just coming up like that then you could put the weight on there and that may add the further traction that we need so i'm going to definitely be doing more experiments on this i think it's worthwhile whilst i've got the motor and this extra malarkey that i fitted whilst that's in there it would be a good idea to do some more experiments on it i think the best thing to do will be to try the weight first and see if we can get the extra traction we need so that it's not slipping under load. It's fine up until it hits the load and then because there's no traction or stick between the metal wheel and the metal wheel we're not getting what we need. I shall keep you informed and see you very soon. Cheers.